This fight for justice continues as Janae Edmondson recovers in a St. Louis area hospital. The visiting teenage volleyball player lost her legs in a horrific crash downtown on February 18th. Her parents spoke out today in a court hearing for the man charged with causing that crash. And it was an emotional hearing and in the end the judge sided with the parents ruling Daniel Riley will stay locked up in jail. Russell Kinsaw is live outside of the courthouse tonight. Russell. Yeah, James and Francine Edmondson spoke for several minutes about why they thought Daniel Riley should stay locked in jail. It was really heart wrenching to hear them talk about their daughter's horrific injuries and her long road ahead. 21 year old Daniel Riley was escorted into court several minutes before the hearing started. Through much of the hearing, it was hard to gauge his reaction because he kept his head tilted down with his hair obscuring his face. Janae Edmondson and her parents traveled from Tennessee to St. Louis because she was going to play in a volleyball tournament. The accident happened Saturday night, February 18th in the evening, as the three of them walked near 11th and St. Charles Avenue in downtown St. Louis. James Edmondson said he heard the roar of engines and told the judge, my daughter started yelling, stay back, dad, stay back. He said Janae was hit by a car, and when he looked down at her, he said, I knew she was in trouble because her leg was totally gone. Through tears, Francine Edmondson said, I was holding her head up, and she said, I was just praying. After the accident, Riley was charged with three counts of assault, one count of armed criminal action, and driving without a license. He was actually out on bond at the time, a bond he violated over 100 times in a case where he's charged with robbery. Looking back at that night, James Edmondson said, I feel guilty. What could I have done better? Francine Edmondson talked about the anguish her daughter was going through in the wake of the life-altering accident. She's so hurt inside. And Francine Edmondson said her daughter asked, she said, Mom, why did he do this to me? The prosecution asked that Riley continue to be held without bond. So did the Edmondsons. Francine told the judge what her daughter said to her. She doesn't want anyone else to get hurt like this. Janae's father said, we have got a long road. She's suffering right now. Judge Rochelle Woodius said she weighed a number of factors before making her decision. In the end, she ruled Riley will be held without bond, she said, for the safety of the community. James Edmondson said his daughter Janae has gone through five surgeries and has three more to go before she'll be able to be uh, released from the hospital and gone home to Tennessee. Live downtown, Russell Kinsaw, News 4. Russell, thanks.